Welcome back to our space where we come to be with God, to hear the stories of God, and to listen to God. There are many things we do to get ready to be with God, and one is always to uh, come together to worship and to do our greeting for one another. Because it is still Easter time, our greeting for another is that Christ is risen, the Lord is risen indeed. Now, before we tell one of our stories, we always sing our special song so that we know it's time to calm ourselves and to get all our wiggles and giggles out of our bodies and to just sit calmly and hear what God might be telling us in our story today. Will you join me with Be Still and Know? Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. This is the time of Easter. The time we celebrate the mystery that Jesus died, but that God made him alive again. This week is the week we celebrate another mystery, the mystery of ascension. The mystery that Jesus went away, but is still with us, always, in every time and every place. The Christ candle can help us remember the mystery of Easter. When there is no light, we say that Christ is dead. But Jesus is alive. God raised Jesus from the dead. So we say, Christ is risen. Jesus was alive again. One day, Jesus said to his friends, stay in Jerusalem. God will send you a special gift, the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will give you power, the power to tell everyone about me and about the kingdom of God. I will be going away, but I will be with you always and every time and every place, and I will come again. And then Jesus disappeared into a cloud. This is the mystery of the ascension, that Jesus went away, but is still with us. And Christ will come again. Christ died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again.
This is the mystery of Easter. I wonder how Jesus' friends felt when he told them that he would be going away again. I wonder if they kept looking for him. I wonder how he knew they knew that he was with them always and every time and every place. I wonder how you know Christ is with you always and every time and every place. I'm going to light the Christ candle again to remind us that Christ is with us in this space. As we read the story from the scripture, I like to always remind the children when they are here that these are God's stories. These are not Miss Debbie's stories. <clears throat> so let's listen how God tells us this part of the story. I'm going to read from the book of Acts, chapter 1, verses 8 through 11. But when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you'll be filled with power, and you'll be witnesses for me in Jerusalem, in all of Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. After saying this, he was taken up to heaven as they watched him, and a cloud hid, them, hid him from their sight. They still had their eyes fixed on the sky as he went away, when two men dressed in white suddenly stood beside them and said, Galileans, why are you standing there looking up at the sky? This Jesus who was taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way that you saw him go to heaven. Thanks be to God. Now watch as I once again change the light of Christ. So the light that was once in one place at one time can now be with us always in every place and every time. Amen. Amen.